all the thrills, all in one place. Yep, it's all in Laughlin. The Barnes firm has years of experience handling thousands of car crash cases. We will give you the support you need and help to get the best result possible. Now at 5, the mayor sounds off about Metro today. She acknowledges a spike in violence and calls for a bigger police presence. Plus, homeless encampments are popping up near a Little League baseball field. We hear from parents who want them out. And big changes in the courtroom. The two prosecutors who worked for a conviction against Rebecca Grossman are now back on the case. The News at 5 begins right now. NBC4 News at 5 starts with breaking news. That breaking news out of Irvine right now where police are looking for witnesses after someone shot and killed a UPS driver. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. And I'm Annabelle Sedano. The shooting happened two hours ago. NBC4's Hetty Chang joins us live from Irvine with details. Hetty. Annabelle and Colleen, we just spoke with Irvine detectives and actually learned many new details about this deadly shooting. I want to step out of the shot here and give you uh, a live look at the scene here on the ground as well as up above with News Chopper 4. The truck and the now deceased driver is parked on Chrysler just to the left of our shot here. And we understand uh, this driver, UPS driver, was in his truck taking a break as witnesses say that he often does here when someone in a car pulled up and shot him multiple times before that person drove off. Nothing was taken from the truck. This is why detectives do not believe that this was a robbery. It does not appear to be random. Police say they got many 911 calls reporting that a UPS driver was shot multiple times just after 3 this afternoon. When police got here, they pulled that driver out. They tried to save him, but they were not able to. Sadly, he was pronounced deceased here on scene. Now, this is a commercial area, kind of near the Lake Forest area in the city of Irvine uh, with many businesses. So many of the witnesses say they recognize the driver as their regular UPS guy who always parks on Chrysler for his brakes before finishing his route. Take a listen. It, it, he, from what I've been told, is that he sometimes parks there and just takes a break. It, we thought it was jackhammering, mm -hmm. right? And it sounded like it might have been two clips, actually. And did you... because, because it was repetitive, uh, you know, hammering sounds. And then it, about three or four seconds later, we heard it again. Now, we just learned that about 70% of the UPS trucks do have cameras pointing into the truck as well as out on the road. So it is very possible that this deadly shooting may have been captured on camera. As we mentioned, this is a big industrial uh, business area, so it's quite possible that there's a lot of surveillance cameras in the area. And we do know that there were many witnesses who called this into 911 to report that they, um, a UPS driver had been shot here on his route uh, just after 3 o'clock this afternoon. That's the very latest here in Irvine. Hetty Chang, NBC4 News. All right, Hetty, thank you for that. Now to our other top story here, the Rebecca Grossman case. Just days ago, the parents of her victims, the two little boys, told our I-team they were furious the DA's office had removed the prosecutor, citing a potential conflict of interest. Grossman is due back in court tomorrow. Investigative reporter Eric Leonard spoke to the parents. He joins us live from our newsroom with the latest developments. Eric. Hi, Annabelle and Colleen. Well, it appears the L.A. County District Attorney's Office has now reversed that decision. And the two deputy district attorneys who won Grossman's conviction are back in court and on the case. And it's at a critical moment. Rebecca Grossman is asking for a new trial, and the judge will consider tomorrow whether she has to get rid of her new defense lawyer. This new filing from the DA's office shows trial attorneys Ryan Gould and Jamie Castro, seen outside court earlier this year, are back as the attorneys of record in the prosecution of Rebecca Grossman. But now the DA's office is targeting Grossman's attorney. The motion asks the judge to find true that there's a conflict of interest that should bar Grossman's defense attorney, Jim Spurtis, from representing her. That's because Spurtis also represents Diana Turan, an assistant district attorney one of D.A. George Gascon's executive staff who had direct involvement in managing the Grossman prosecution. Prosecutors write, Mr. Spurtis represents both Ms. Turan and Defendant Grossman. Ms. Turan and Defendant Grossman are directly at